Now, if I'm moving along a curve, same curve, but if I go faster, then my direction changes more quickly. If I go more slowly, my direction changes more slowly. My direction is indicated by my unit tangent vector. Okay. A unit tangent vector is just a direction vector. So if I go around the curve quickly, my unit tangent vector changes fast. If I go around more slowly, my unit tangent vector changes more slowly. Turns out if I go around the curve at a constant unit speed, then the rate of change of my unit tangent vector is just the curvature, the reciprocal of the radius of the circle. And that's fairly easy to work out. So by using, by parameterizing our unit tangent vector in terms of arc distance, if the arc distance is covered at one unit per second, then the derivative of our unit tangent vector is just the curvature. Um, a little more sense maybe here. Okay, so our curvature is the rate of change of our unit tangent vector with our position. Why should that be? Well, the rate of change of unit tangent vector with position s, and s is position as measured by arc distance along the curve, is just the derivative of the unit tangent vector with respect to time times dt ds, just the chain rule. Okay, that's maybe a little formal, but that has a very uh, simple interpretation. DT DS is just the reciprocal of DS DT, and DS DT is my speed, or the magnitude of my velocity. So that this uh, expression here being equal to this and this is equal to this. This is the derivative of my unit tangent vector, and I'm with respect to time, not with respect to position, and I'm dividing that by ds dt, which is a magnitude of my velocity, my speed. So that now I've corrected my derivative of the unit tangent factor for the speed. If I move around the curve quickly, my unit tangent vector changes more quickly. But if I divide by the speed, I find the rate at which the unit tangent vector changes if my speed is 1. Okay, and that's what we're going to use for the idea of our curvature. Um, this calculation is the same as this, of course, since our velocity is the derivative of our position function, r of t. So we say that then our curvature is the magnitude of the derivative of our unit tangent vector, and that's with respect to t, divided by the derivative, magnitude of the derivative of our position function. So that's not written as clearly as it might be, um, because t prime could be dt ds or dt dt. Uh, so let me rewrite this as I hope that's legible. Got that too bunched up. Um, I'm going to write it up here. Okay, and that's going to be curvature. A picture. If this is our curve then a circle tangent to the curve at a given point that in the vicinity of this point 
follows the curve, that's going to be a, a circle that has our radius of curvature. Um, and we could say R is 1 over R kappa, R curvature. Okay.